Welcome back dear learners. This week we started by understanding certain basic rules followed by model UN conferences that were sourced back to Robert's rules of order, UN procedure and general norms of formal conferences. By understanding these rules we have established the general external framework that these conferences follow. In this module we will dive deeper into understanding the rules of procedures that model UN conferences follow. We will begin by understanding how a model UN conference takes place and explore the phases of these conferences. Through these phases, we will also explore three vibrant and globally acclaimed rules of procedures that determine and guide the internal operations of a committee. Before we move forward, it is important to note that while the basic rules of model UN conferences try to establish common guidelines for the overall functioning of the conference, the rules of procedures on the other hand establish guidelines for how different participants should operate in the committee setting. Here we have also established two phases of a conference those are the pre-conference phase and the conference phase a model UN conference's pre-conference phase begins when a conference officially declares their dates timings and fee requirements followed by the notification on their committees their agendas and opening up of registrations for delegates and committee dais posts This information is made available on the conference's official website and social media handles. A prospective delegate should find these, select their preferred committees and portfolio requirements and fill in the application form. Following this, a delegate receives confirmation in a week or two regarding their portfolio and committee allocation. It's important to note that the forms will ask you to prioritize your committee allocation and portfolio. So although one's first choice might not be allotted but one's preferred choice will be the committee dais applicants will also be required to fill in an application form on their preferred committee of choice their moderating style and their preferred post in the dais following which the committee dais members enter the interview stage where they are interviewed by the organizers of the conference who would assess them based on their experience in model even conferences their understanding of rules of procedures and their ability to handle the committee for the delegate applicants following the registration stage comes the allocation stage where the applicants committee and portfolio will be allotted and will be confirmed when one pays the pre specified conference fee after this an email of confirmation will be sent confirming one's portfolio and committee all of the official communication between a delegate and the conference management happens through one's email which one would mention in one's registration form these processes of registration allocation and confirmation happen at least a month before the conference allowing the delegates adequate time to research and understand their portfolio the agenda and the rules of procedure a few rules of procedures instruct their delegates to submit a written document on the stance of their portfolio in relation to the committee agenda known commonly as a position paper or an op-ed report This document acts as an official guideline for the delegates future actions and decisions in the committee and is expected to be submitted a day before the conference. Most conferences provide the delegates with two brief documents for guidance. One called the background guide focuses on explaining the agendas of the delegates respective committees and mentions various areas of potential discussions and research. The second is called rules of procedures document. which thoroughly explain the conference's chosen rules of procedures few conferences also conduct training workshops for all the delegates to help them understand the rules of procedures through their workshops or by sharing documents all conferences make sure that the delegates are clear about their committee agenda and more importantly the committee's rules of procedures before the conference begins conference phase the conference phase has various stages of its own which are determined by and vary based on three major rules of procedures these three major rules of procedures have their common roots in robert's rules of order and the un procedure but vary in terms of the goals they aim to achieve so before we move any further please pause the video for 2 minutes and contemplate on the following question what do you think a model un conference aims to achieve Your possible answers could be 1 to give participants a deep understanding of international relations 2 high quality debates and discussions among the participants 3 
to realistically simulate the conditions of actual united nations four to provide the participants with a platform to develop public speaking negotiation and diplomatic skills these are a few common goals that all model un conferences aim to achieve but given the various time and logistical limitations these conferences face it becomes challenging to achieve all the goals with equal success thus model un conferences prioritize their goals and emphasize more on certain goals over the others depending on their beliefs of what a model un conference should aim to achieve this prioritization of goals is implemented by making certain variations in design and structure of the conference's rules of procedures these variations resulted in the formation of three of the world's most widely followed rules of procedures those are the un usa procedure the un for mun procedure and thaimun procedure in the first week we have studied how model un conferences emerged soon after the founding of the united nations in 1945 We also understood how model UN conferences became a widespread phenomenon following the 1990s globalization and the rise of the internet. As these conferences grew, people recognized, prioritized and implemented different aims a model UN conference should follow, and these rules of procedures are the product of the same. UNA USA or the United Nations Association of United States of America is an American movement formed in 1943 that focuses on supporting the United Nations and the advancing of United Nations missions through their programs and engagements. The rules of procedures developed by this organization is considered one of the earliest and is termed as the traditional or the North American rules of procedure and is followed in model UN conferences in over 50 nations from all over the world. UNA USA believes that each individual mainly the nation's youth can play a great role in advancing UN's mission and making the world a better place and this belief clearly reflects in their ROP which focuses on providing each delegate a chance to express themselves and develop skills of debating speaking and negotiating through their rules of procedures they also aim to simulate the core values on which UN operates which is acting as a global platform for nations to come together and negotiate as equals. UNA USA conference is moderated by a committee dais called the executive board which consists of a chairperson, vice chairperson and a rapporteur. UN for MUN is a model UN or UN simulation program that was introduced by United Nations Department of Global Communications in 2009. This program focuses on providing its participants with a realist UN experience through their model UN conferences. This goal is reflected in their rules of procedures manual that emphasizes on rules and norms that are very close to the operations of the real UN. They also aim to provide the participants an in-depth understanding of international affairs in real time in relation to the United Nations organization. A UN for MUN is moderated by a president, vice president and a rapporteur. Taiman or the Hague International Model United Nations is a non-governmental organization associated with the UN Department of Public Information that organized their first conference in 1968. Since their first model UN in 1968, Taiman has expanded to become one of the biggest model UN programs in the world, gaining the roster consultative status with the United Nations Economic and Social Council in 2003. The program Through its rules of procedures, which is also called European Rules of Procedure, focuses on providing the delegates a realistic and deep understanding of international affairs, with the primary emphasis on providing the participants a platform to develop skills of negotiation and diplomacy, and aims to simulate UN realistically. Time and flagship conferences take place every year in The Hague, Qatar, and Singapore, receiving thousands of participants from over 100 nationalities. Under the Thaiman procedure, just like the UNA USA procedure, the conference is moderated by a committee dais called the executive board, which consists of a chairperson, vice chairperson, and a rapporteur. These model UN rules of procedures reflect the specific kind of goals their parent organizations choose to achieve, and thus many conferences in the world often mix, match, and adopt these rules of procedures, and additionally include many of the other UN procedural or parliamentary provisions according to their own circumstances. participants and conference objectives 
thus forming their own unique set of rules of procedures conferences such as harvard model un and iim un are examples of such adaptations that have created a unique rules of procedures manual for their conferences let us summarize our learning from this video in this module we have established the phases of a model un conference and have been introduced to three types of model un procedures that are followed all over the world the two phases of a model un conference are the pre conference phase and the conference phase under the pre conference phase the participant has to go through the process of registration allocation and confirmation with an additional stage of interview for the committee as applicant post this the conferences provide a background guide and a rules of procedures manual to the delegates and a few conferences also conduct workshops to prepare the delegates for the conference a few conferences also ask the delegates to submit a document stating their portfolio's official stance on the agenda coming to the three model un procedures we have been introduced to the una usa procedure that focuses on enhancing public speaking debating and negotiation skills among its participants the un for un procedure focuses on providing a realistic experience to its participants in relation to the functioning of the united nations organization and international affairs in general thaiman procedure focuses on enhancing the skills of negotiation and diplomacy among its participants in our next video we will dive deeper into exploring the conference phase of the model un conferences and understand the various stages of these conferences through the lens of the three model un procedures discussed in this video thank you